hyperacusis is, is treated very similarly to misophonia, but these are patients who get better very quickly. So there's a lot of hope here. With hyperacusis, we really want to use sound therapy. It's so exciting when patients come in and we can exercise the system and gradually increase what patients find comfortable. So oftentimes when we measure a patient with hyperacusis, they are responding to very, very soft levels of sound as being painful or uncomfortable. After two, four, six, eight weeks of therapy, those thresholds often change. So we're seeing that if we exercise the system, we can increase the dynamic range of what's comfortable for patients. So for example, I've had patients coming in saying, I cannot ever imagine being a part of my child's sporting event. It's too painful, it's too uncomfortable. I'm avoiding this part of my life. And even at six months in in therapy, these are patients who are now coaching those teams, they're attending concerts, they're living their best life again. So this is absolutely something that's very treatable.